Hello everybody, it's Weather Outlook, and today I will be talking about a potential snowstorm for the West Texas uh, and North Central Texas area. So within that area there, um, we're talking about a potential snowstorm. Now, our main p focused area for the highest potential for heavy snow and the highest accumulations will probably be within this area here. Um, according to the NAM model. So, um, anyways, let's go take a look. Right now, we're looking at the NAM 3 kilometer model. We're going to take a look at this as we got. So, you can see it starts to develop a huge glob of snow. Um, also, you see this blue line. This is the 540 rain to snow line. If you live behind this line, you're most likely going going to get snow as long as the conditions are right which in this case they are if you live in front of this blue line you will most likely get rain unless you're higher elevation um, then obviously you might you're probably gonna get some snow if you're high elevation but if you're low elevation like Texas um, then you're most likely if you live in front of it you're most likely gonna get rain but behind it most likely snow um, but yeah you see a um, uh, a uh, low pressure system does make its way on in Texas. Um, so we do have the huge glob of snow going on for um, the panhandle of Texas and just this uh, Oklahoma panhandle, parts of Kansas, and um, Colorado and New Mexico. That And then it's starting to make its way into um, north Texas. You can see then it starts to drop down. Now it's starting to become a little bit more heavier in West Texas there. Um, if we go click more, it starts to get a little bit even more heavier for this area. Um, yeah, you can see right here, this is pretty heavy snow, probably about an inch, and, uh, half an inch to an inch an hour in some areas right there. So that's pretty heavy snow. Um, let's go out a few more slides. So And then now... The snow is starting to make its way into the DFW Metroplex area. Um, but yeah, we have a really a huge glob of moderate to heavy at times snow right there. And it's moving in a kind of like an eastern, southeastern kind of direction. Um, it changes to eastern, uh, an eastern direction once it... Um, gets over to DFW Metroplex, but, um, but yeah, and then we click one more, three hours more, and then you could see, now we are looking at moderate snow, moderate to maybe even heavy at times for the DFW Metroplex, um, and then for the rest of the area, moderate snow, and that's whole, in that whole, whole area, and then behind this, we have um, the back side of this storm, which has got some snow as well, just not as heavy as the primary. Now, it says snow right now. Now, it, it does show um, like these dark, dark blues and stuff. Now, what we're going to have to watch is where this cold air is when we get the snow. So you can see this 540 lines right here. Now, the thing about it is you're starting to see some snow pop up in front of it. Now, the thing about this is it's going to be a really close call whether um, these people get snow in front of this 540 line. Um, it's probably going to be mixed, and if it is straight snow, it will be extremely wet snow and large flakes if they do get snow. Um, but I, likely this area is going to be a question mark if they get snow or not. Um, if they do, it's probably going to be mixed with rain, but... Um, this whole, I'm going to outline, this and whole entire area seems to be the area that we are, um, we have our highest um, confidence of actually seeing snow from this storm is probably within this area, is our highest confidence area of seeing snow. Um, and then we'll go take a look at a few more slides. You can see the heaviest snow starts to move off um, into eastern Texas. You can see the backside of the storm is right there. And still some light to moderate snow going on for the DFW Metroplex. Um, a few snow showers, scattered snow showers for the southwestern Texas area. And um, if we if we have enough instability and dew point or um, moisture in the air, 
we might just be able to get some isolated thunderstorms down here if the conditions are favorable. Um, but I'm not going to go into in detail about that because um, it's not storm season yet. So these storms aren't going to be very big. Just maybe a few flashes of lightning. So we go out and it, you see that heavy snow does start to make its way into Louisiana actually. Which I think it's starting to push it once it makes it into Louisiana. I think it's going to start pushing it um, to the limits whether they get snow or not. Probably going to be heavy mixing going on. So um, mixed, so like heavy rain mixed with heavy snow kind of deal here. Not much accumulation is going to be expected for the this Louisiana and East Texas area as of right now. This is as of right now. Still some uh, snow showers going on for the DFW Metroplex. And also some snow going on for the Red River Valley up in Oklahoma and Texas. Go one more out and see super heavy snow starting, still making its way into Louisiana and Arkansas and soon to be Mississippi. Um, still some scattered snow showers for the north central Texas area. And now s still heavy snow now entering Mississippi. And it slowly starts to dissipate as it makes its way into further parts of Mississippi, Tennessee, and also Arkansas. But yeah, I. um. I don't know if I'm going to have much confidence in really this whole area is going to be a massive question mark if they get snow or not, which is they probably won't get snow, but they might probably be mixing and stuff. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. And then, um, <clears throat> so yeah, and then let's go take a look at the snowfall accumulations Okay, yeah, let's check out these snowfall accumulations really quick. Okay. So this is the 10 to 1 ratio. See that snow starting to come down. And um, it shows the highest amounts of snowfall are going to be taking place for southern Texas. And that is around 13 inches, 12 to around a foot. Um, which I think is very unlikely for to see a foot that south. Um, I think the highest snowfall would probably be around 7, 8 inches. And it would be probably within this area here. For the DFW Metroplex, for Fort Worth, Texas, it says around 5.5 inches. For Dallas, it says around 4.5 inches. Um... And then uh, for West Texas, around six inches, a huge swath of six inches. But I just don't think that this, the East and Texas and Louisiana area, don't. I don't think they're going to see that much snow. I just don't think, I don't see that happening. Uh, let's look at more accurate snowfall measurement, uh, the depth change. This is a more accurate one at forecasting snowfall totals. And um, if you look right near here, it says... Five inches is a huge swath of five inches for East Texas and Louisiana. I don't see that happening. Um, West Texas, around five, four or five inches, which I definitely can see this happening. And um, uh, around an inch for the DFW Metroplex. Um, I'm expecting a lot higher amounts for the DFW Metroplex. At the least, um, four inches, for three or four inches for the DFW Metroplex. Um, let's go take a look at, um, the Canadian model and see what the Canadian model has to say about this. Okay. Um, so yeah, the snow makes its way into Texas. Some pretty heavy snow going on. It does shoot down south a little bit. And produce some actually pretty heavy snow swath right here, just like the NAM model. And then makes its way off into Louisiana, Mississippi. Now, this one's probably a more likely scenario. As when it makes its way into Louisiana, Mississippi, and Arkansas, it's not as heavy. Um, which is probably a more likely scenario. I'm expecting a, a few flurries to take place for this area. Just not heavy snow like the DFW Metroplex in like the West Texas area. Let's take a look at snowfall, um, snowfall accumulations. Let's 
let's see here. This one's showing um, a widespread area of one foot um, down here for the same exact area that the NAM was telling us. Um, DFW Metroplex, 6 inches for Fort Worth, 5.3 inches for Dallas, and then 6 inches for the West Texas area, 5, 6 inches. So, <clears throat> I just can't see this happening, this, the 6, not, uh, the, um, 1 foot area, I, that's not, I don't think that's gonna happen, that's pushing it way too far, especially that south, um. But it def it definitely might happen. Um, we can't we can't ever tell tell whether. So, anyways, um, I think this is gonna be it for today. I just wanted to look at a few models. Um, I'll probably post another one if anything changes drastically tomorrow, which just looks like it's gonna be staying the same as of right now. So, anyways, um. I hope you're having a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my videos. And comment if you think I should improve anything on my videos. Have a great day.